We don't see as many Monster Arena battle games anymore, at least not on console. But Draw Fighters is trying to change that. But is this game like a brilliant battle that's worth taking part in, or is it more like a mediocre monstrosity? Draw Fighters is an interesting but simplistic three-on-three -three monster fighting game where you're trying to work your way through the ranks to compete in three different tournaments to become the master of Draw Fighters. The story is pretty basic with the main goal just being you working your way through the different fights and tournaments until eventually you're crowned the champion. Everything takes place basically at this Draw Fighter monster gym and has a very kind of gritty boxing feel to it. The game gives you three monsters to start your battling career with. You unlock new ones as you battle your way through. Basically, monsters are impressed by the way you fight and end up joining your ranks, and you can then swap them out if you want to. Though I honestly didn't end up changing my monsters up at much until I got to the very end of the game as the final tournament finally actually gave me a bit of a challenge. Your monsters start off with three attacks, so you can unlock more skills via gems. You earn gems for leveling up and completing fights. You have two types of gems, ones that you use for these new skills and ones for your stats, upgrading things like health, attack, and speed. The skill gems will then be able to buy any of a variety of moves broken up into several different categories, costing more or less gems depending upon how useful that skill is. And since you can only level up so much, you have to choose which of these moves you buy wisely. Battles start off pretty easy. It doesn't give you a ton of explanation on how things work. Though, in typical monster fighting fashion, each monster is a different type and has different weaknesses. Honestly, though, none of this really came into play until I got much farther on into the game. You have only two modes of fighting, either going through the tournament, continuing the story, or you can also do a training mode, which is a good idea to kind of test out your new skills to figure out which ones are going to actually be useful to you. While there is a decent amount of skills, a lot of which I found to be absolutely useless and really didn't end up helping any of my monsters during battle. The main story modes take place in the tournaments, and after just a few fights you'll complete one tournament, move on to the next, and so on until you've completed all three of the tournaments. For the first two tournaments though, and roughly about the first hour and a half or so of the game, I was able to just hold down the speed up button and then just press one or two of different attacks over and over again and win every one of my fights. However, when I made it to that third tournament, this is where things actually increased in difficulty and the fun began of trying to mix and match the monsters, so I actually had a chance. Monsters I was fighting were able to easily counter me and deal out a ton of damage in certain moves. Even when playing for a while though, I'm still not exactly sure why certain moves did the amount of damage that they did. The issue is that that's really all there is to the game. Once you complete the third tournament, the game is over. There is a new game plus, so you can go through the tournaments again and level up your creatures even more. They're supposedly adding a dual mode to the game later on, but in its current state, there isn't a whole lot to jump into. One neat feature is that there is a partner app for the game that you can download on your smartphone device that you'll be able to draw a monster and then put it into the game, but I was unable to get it to work, unfortunately, with my device. From the technical side of things, though, the game ran smoothly for the most part. I did have minor slowdown here and there, but it never took away from any of the battles, as well as the game didn't crash on me. Draw Fighters is available now on the PS4 for $24.99, and it doesn't have a Platinum Trophy, unfortunately. Overall, Draw Fighters feels like an interesting beginning for what potentially could be a lot of fun, but the lack of overall modes and shortness of the campaign really takes the game back, especially at its current price point. I do like some of the monster designs. They have kind of a grotesque appearance, which is kind of a Digimon meets Fever Dream kind of mix-up for some of them, which I definitely enjoyed. With everything said though, it's just honestly hard to really recommend Draw Fighters to many out there, especially at its price point and what you end up getting. And in its current state, I'm going to be giving Draw Fighters an average 5 out of 10. But anyway guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course I hope you enjoyed.